Hey, hey ladies, have we got the tea for you. Hey ladies, this is our first segment. We're so excited. We're gonna introduce ourselves. I am Kimba, your natural diva. And I'm your sister girl, Dr. Barb. And together, we are BK Naturals. Naturals. <laughs> <laughs> so who's BK Naturals? So we're gonna just kind of start by telling you who we are, um, why we're kind of doing what we're doing and what this platform is all about. So let's start kind of with, with what this platform is all about. Like, why are we here, right? Besides being funny, cute, beautiful, all that. So why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> so why are we here, Dr. Bob? Well, we um, decided to start this channel because we wanted to educate women on you know, different topics that are of interest to us. Exactly. Um, I'll start off with me. I'm a board certified OBGYN. Hello. I've been in practice for about 15 years and have treated women uh, through those years and uh, young girls and have seen a lot and done a lot and um, certain themes come out to me and um, I take a particular interest in public education, public health education and educating women about their bodies and how to feel comfortable with their bodies and um, just treat their bodies as the temple that we were created to be. Ta -da. Um, and then with ease because I find a lot of women tend to be uncomfortable with their bodies uncomfortable touching their body exploring your own body yes. ladies come close so listen to me it's you know we sort of kind of and we'll talk about how we met how we met how we decided to get together <laughs> but i think we have the perfect marriage we do um because i have this scientific background and background with women and health issues and Miss Diva over here, Has tell more, them about of course, my where you're coming from. And who I am. So I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for over 15 years and have seen um, the good, the bad, the ugly as it relates to just westernized medicine, right? So if you need it, it's absolutely amazing and there are products that you absolutely need, that you need rather to save your life. But to be honest with you, I've seen enough times where prevention is certainly, certainly much, much more um, available to you and that people just don't take advantage of that, right? I'm a firm believer in allowing your food to be your medicine and your medicine to be your food first and foremost. I suffered with eczema and issues of psoriasis, dry skin, just a ton of allergy issues for my entire life. And it's taken me years to get to a point where you know, my diva status has not been compromised. My skin and everything about me because I just refused after a certain point to take medicine, steroids in particular, uh, antibiotics for no reason when I was breaking out and itching and my skin was being infected and it was just nasty. But I decided that there's got to be a better way. There's got to be an alternative. And so I've been on a quest for I guess my entire life since then and really understanding the more natural and alternative ways to do things. And ladies, let me be honest, obviously I'm a diva. So there are some <laughs> things that I won't compromise on, right? So I love wearing my hair the way I do and there are some products that I'm saying, ah, if they don't have natural alternatives, I'm okay with that. But I absolutely ensure that I choose natural and alternative when and where I can. And so one day we'll do a segment where we're shopping with the diva. Yes. And I'll show you how to kind of comb through all of the he say, she say about products and the claims that they make and to really figure out what are true chemicals, even though they say naturally derived, and then what is really you know natural ingredients. So for the most part, if you can't put it in your mouth, it's probably um, either a synthetic chemical or something that's you know processed. So it's probably bad, but we'll talk more about that later. So Just that's kind of how I said, like, put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Dr. Barb. <laughs> She swears she don't got jealous. Child. She be having jokes. You know what I mean? I think so, I'm rubbing off on her. All right, Diva, so. tell them how we met. Oh my gosh. So. Okay, because we're, we don't want to forget that part. Clearly. All right. Tell so. them how we met. That's where we're heterosexual. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and big up to everybody who decides whatever you want to be, it's no judgment yes. here. All right. <laughs> So, Dr. Barbara and I have a mutual friend, or mutual friends. Yes. And uh, we met on a boat. We met on the a boat. boat. I love boats. <laughs> 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 Kidding. <laughs> no, it was 
Moses Cruz. And so actually, um, I feel like I've known you forever. Honestly, you know, you know, because, ladies. No, <laughs> wait, no, wait, because we have that mutual friend, and I right. would always hear about Kimba and, and vice versa. And so I kind of just bye, felt bye. like I knew you. You kind of do. Everybody knows you do. <laughs> Why not me? <laughs> But no, seriously, but we like... we finally, like, came face-to-face face face on face. this cruise. On this cruise. But funny enough, ladies, you know, like, okay, Drake always says no new friends, right? So the mutual friend of ours, she's known forever, I've known her forever, and then, you know, Dr. Barbara and I kind of came together for the first time on this cruise, so I'm kind of like, mm, no new friends. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, if a good friend says she's down, she's cool, then you're down and you're cool and you're That's familia right. to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So big up all my Latinas y Latinos, familia, okay? <laughs> La familia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So Barbara and I just clicked. And honestly, we were just kind of doing our damn thing on the cruise, like in the hot tub, in the pool, jamming, And talking dancing. about some of the things that we are now bringing to, to you, you all. Exactly. Um, and it just came easy. It was just easy conversation. No issue. So funny yeah. enough, there were five women, right? And only two of us out of the five, like 20% of us, were willing to have open and honest conversation about our vaginas. And I was kind of like, <laughs> why are y'all hiding in the cruise cabin? Like, what's going on? Join the fun. Yes. And Dr. Barb and I are totally snuggle bunnies. So we're like totally chilling on like the bed. Like, anyway, girl, what do you think about this? You know, you got your stirrups with you, girl. <laughs> and I got a quick check. She check. tried to give me a different examination on Whoops. the cruise boat. Okay, I wasn't doing that. Listen, I was like, let me take a nap and have my legs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, did you bring your gloves? Just saying. I got lube. Keep your lube, ladies. Handle your lube. No, I'm kidding. So, no. We so just we kind of hit it off. Off we and we off, talked totally. and um, you know the conversation continued after we went home to our respective homes in different states. Exactly. And um, I mean, we're just this is just something that we both were pretty passionate about. Very passionate about. And that we wanted to kind of bring uh, to the public. So, you know, you guys are coming along a beautiful ride with us. Right. Um, and. I think we have things that you're going to want to hear. I think so too. So again, examine the issues, right? And so that's kind of what this platform is all about. So we're going to be going around the country, calls, visits, flying, everything to kind of put on focus groups and we're asking both men and women. So yes, we're asking men because men, women, are interested in kind of how you're taking care of your babies, okay? Yes. Whatever you want to call them, your bajayjays, mm -hmm. because they don't want to go down there and encounter some scariness, right? So they yes. too are very interested in what's going on down there. But we want to go around the country and ask people, what is it that you're most concerned about? What are the issues that you're having that you're just not comfortable talking to, whether it's your doctors, friends, moms, whoever, your aunties, um, and if that's the case, you come to Dr. Barb and and Kimba, your natural diva. So, and we invite questions. I mean, if you guys are comfortable, if you want to put it, put a uh, anonymous question down go. below down in below. the comment section. Not that down below. No, like, put it in the comments. <laughs> in the comment section. <laughs> the comments below. Let's be clear. Um, bring us your questions, and um, we would be happy to address it in happy future um, videos. Absolutely. Future videos that we do. So. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. And um, come along this ride with us. Exactly. So before we go, Dr. Barb, I yes. kind of want to know a little bit about why you decided to even become a doctor. Well. So we're going to be all up in her business. Yes. Not that business. <laughs> Not that business. This the business. Yes. This business. <laughs> business up here. Um, well, I kind of grew up always knowing that I wanted to be a doctor. Okay. Um, I remember oh, I grew up in New York City. Okay. In an immigrant uh, neighborhood. Right. Where right, right. a lot of the our neighbors didn't speak English. Right. And I remember a friend of my mom's being hospitalized, and she came back from the hospital, and you know we were asking her, well, what happened? What was your diagnosis? And she didn't and know. She didn't know. Oh, she said, horrible. I, I don't know. They didn't tell me anything. Oh, my. And I just remember feeling at that moment that I would like to be a voice for people like her. Right. I love it. Um, you know, just kind of 
know what's going on with right. the body. And to stand with, on their behalf. Right, on their behalf. Yes. And because I'm a first generation. My parents were both from Haiti. Okay. And um, so we were kind of, you know, first generation, you're kind of the interpreter. You are. Stop by say, what up? <laughs> Zoe Nation. Shout out. Zoe for life. Hello. Big up New York City. <laughs> bop, bop. <laughs> so I just remember that moment where I decided, you know, I want to I want to be a doctor. I want to treat people that can't speak for themselves. Right. Um, and then as I went to college, um, my first foray into women's health, I was a women's health peer educator. Mm -hmm. And basically what we did, you know, I just volunteered for it and we <laughs> taught girls right. in the first year freshman orientation right. um you know just kind of the topics that we're going to be talking about awesome where we did round table uh sessions with them and just mm -hmm. kind of talk, talk to girls about their bodies I and love it. you know speaking up for themselves and and knowing their bodies and feeling comfortable with their bodies so right. it just became kind of organic where um i did that and i've just always had a interest in women's health i love women's health because the women are young and healthy right. and they're willing to listen right. they're at a time when they're willing to listen. They're open. They're open about um, it. You know, and, and I like that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. um, so just kind of grew from that and, right. you know, went to medical school and then residency right. and just kind of continued along that way. And um, I enjoy it. I love uh, that. I really, really I had no idea. It. What? Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to have a card because she doesn't have a card. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, funny enough, similar to you, the idea that um, I started becoming an advocate for other people in their own health journey. So yeah. everybody in my family swears that I'm kind of in the medical field because <laughs> I used to be, uh, you know, a pharmaceutical rep. And I was like, I understand how to read all the journals and yeah. all the studies and yeah. a lot of that clinical information really takes, you know, a different perspective to kind of look at right. and to be able to, to digest and understand and to interpret. So I got that. They use me in every single, you know, term, but they'd be like, girl, what do I do with this blood pressure medicine? I'm like, auntie, I don't even sell that. I'm so like, I don't know. But I'll look stuff. it up for right, you. Right, but I'll look it up, tell me the name of the drug. So I started yeah. becoming an advocate for other people yeah. because they felt yeah. like I was close enough to doctors and hospitals to where I would have some level of expertise. And specifically because they didn't have exposure to a doctor in their own family. So right. I was the closest thing they had, right. poor thing. Exactly. And we have nurses in our family, but again, a lot of people just came to me, you know, and um, I'm also first generation, so I was one of the first to go to college in my family. So of course, you know, I was the, the smart one in the family. So they're gonna come to me and go, like, girl, I know you could look Call something Kimba. up. Exactly. So, um, and my family came up from Jamaica, so brah, brah, big up. Beyond the crew, big up. <laughs> And look, grew look, up, look. exactly, <laughs> born in Brooklyn, uh, raised on Long Island, so grew up in New York as yeah. well. So, um, and that's why BK means so much yes. to us, right? So we both kind of grew up in, in, in Brooklyn, and so yes. it's kind of cute that we're B and K, and we're then it's BK, K. so. And we're both from BK. I know, so extra yes. credit for those of you who could have figured that out, but now that I've told you, it doesn't count. <laughs> so it sounds to me like, you know, you like advocating. Yes. I love advocating, Absolutely. and we're both, want to advocate for you for you all for the world now everybody that has a v let's put up our v's ladies hello v. if ll cool can put up his l love him call me <laughs> <laughs> we can put up our v's okay so um yeah so we want every woman in this world uh, i don't care what race culture creed you are if you have a vagina this information that we're going to be right. sharing with you can help you we want to love on you guys we want to be able to kind of be the voice for you and just encourage you to be educated about your own health because if not you then who right who's going right. to do this for you right so um we love that exactly. so that's kind of where we yeah. who we are and why we're here yeah y'all gotta tune in like we're funny as all <laughs> get out have you not gotten it like i need y'all to get that do you so. not realize do you not realize not, <laughs> what's happening let me do the diva pose <laughs> Anyway, love you guys. Shout yes. out to the ladies. And we're going to leave you guys with something that we always say. Um, and that's the T for, for your, your B. B. Holla. Check us out. Bye. Love you guys.